it's also working hot. in the garden. Yeah, but it's also hot. It is 76 degrees. This is our garden leftovers from last year. We never pulled anything. So today we are going to clean up this jungle, pull all the weeds and leftover stuff from our boxes. Then we'll, we're going to be removing all of these wood boxes. This year's garden, we plan to plant everything in five gallon buckets. And the reason for that is we do not have great soil here. We are really close to the lake. We're on a limestone bed. Our yard is full of rocks and we've had to use these raised boxes for the last several years and they are falling apart. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the old um, plants removed, get them all cleaned up. Um, the, so yep. to get started, we're gonna just start pulling all the all the old plants up and I don't even know what to do. We're gonna just pull the weeds. get all the garden stakes out because we'll be Monster using the truck. You're probably not going to be doing much. You're probably just going to be playing, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm going to... Well, I got it out. Okay, we're going to stick the garden stakes right there because we'll be using... Where are we going to put these? Just lay it on the ground. Okay. Got my five-year-old grandson out here helping me. He's always a big helper. come through here with all this brush so Maverick what? go stand over there here. I do something yes hi Bump up with the chainsaw. Oh. I want to see if, I'm, if I can see him. No, I can't. Hi guys, I'm back.
we have a seven foot netting around our garden and staked off using T-post. The reason is we have white tailed deer here and they would be in the garden in a heartbeat if we didn't, if we didn't stake it off. And they have been known to bust through here anyway. One time we had a small deer in the garden and I yelled out and she bust through it and I had to come repair the, the netting so that's the reason for the netting around it some of this garden cleaned out while it's in the 70s today because I believe tomorrow night we're going to get back down to the 20s and hopefully that's the last freeze. We are in northwest corner of Arkansas. Mimi's pillow. Put that back. So I'm going to be back out in the garden working today. Um, I did a little work on it a few days ago. It doesn't look like a jungle like it did. 
Um, we had a few boxes that um, fell apart because of the rocky ground limestone that we have on our property. We have to use raised beds. So some of them have fallen apart. I think we have three that we're gonna be able to salvage. Um, as you can see, I've already taken, so broke some of the boards off of some of them. Um, we have three that we're gonna be able to use. So we are gonna utilize that. We are going to be adding these five gallon buckets and that's what we'll be planting in this year. Um, what I'm planning to do is break away all the boxes that are no longer good and then I'm gonna spread the dirt out on top of the ground here to kind of help maybe kill the grass. Um, and then we're gonna get a load of cypress mulch that we will be adding to the floor of this before we set our buckets up. That way that will keep the grass killed and hopefully we'll save a lot of time weeding it out. Um, this space over here between the greenhouse and the garden, we had set, left that open. We were going to build a, build a greenhouse. But for now, financially, we are not able to do that. So for now, we have a chain link um, pin that's probably about a 10 by 10, I think. We are going to use that, and we're going to set that up in this space. It's got a gate on it, um, and we'll set more of our five-gallon buckets up inside there to extend our garden space because last year we extended it, and... We need more space because we um, we want to plant more things this year. I need to get the greenhouse panels put back on that the weather elements have blown out and what have you. I mean, we've got some tape that we're going to be taping those panels into place. So hopefully that doesn't continue to happen. Um... The greenhouse, I think, is about a 8 by 6, maybe. Um, Got to get that back in cleaned up and so I can get in there and get all my um, starter plants started. Over here is the pen. Of course, you can't tell how big it is, but it's about a, it may be a 10 by 12, something like that. So... Anyway, that's the plan. We're going to get some stuff cleaned up today. Um, here's my rubble pile from the boxes I have broken apart. I'm going to get that stuff loaded up on the side-by-side -side and take it down to the burn pit. But get the rest of these boxes broken loose and get some of this dirt spread out is hopefully what I can get done today.
gonna shovel this one out and start with this one and there's some boards still left from the bottom of the box that I need to get out um, so we'll see how that works out Just kind of a little overview. We took out five boxes that were had come apart 
used all the soil that we had in them, spread it across the ground really good, dispersed it as evenly as I could, and we are going to cover the ground with a cypress mulch to keep the weeds down since we'll be using buckets in our garden. But looks pretty good. Being at the buckets, they'll go down in the soil pretty good. So it doesn't have to be even and smooth, but it'll work. Say hi. It's my husband, Brian. We are working on the greenhouse now, getting it cleaned up. He is, I'm about to help him. Um, the weeds had just taken it over. He's got a pretty good start. Good, good start on it. Good start on it. It's a small greenhouse, but it works for getting them started. Anyway, we're gonna spray some weed killer in there. And some of our panels keep blowing out, as you can see, several of them. So we bought some greenhouse tape that we will be taping up the corners on there now. So hopefully we won't have that issue going forward. So we got the garden already got the most of the five gallon buckets in there we will be adding three more one in this corner and then two more here we got the this chain link pin we had bought this a while back we were gonna get a couple goats and put the goats in there and just kind of move it around we uh our property sits on a ravine i don't know if you can see see that back there how big of a drop so this is a trail that comes up and it's a big drop down there um but anyway uh so we had, we were gonna have the goats help us clean up the brush but we decided we needed to expand the garden. So we set this pin up right here. We left space between the garden and the chain link area on both sides and on the back side so we could get the mower through there. We got the greenhouse panels all put back on. We did um, some greenhouse tape as you can see right there. Uh, we had about four panels come out and so got the door all taped up all the way down. The greenhouse is all cleaned up and ready. We have sprayed um, weed killer down here to kill this grass and I'm um, getting ready to start my germination. I'm going to start those inside the house for now. And then in a couple of weeks, when they start sprouting, I will probably bring them out. Um, according to the almanac, um, our last chance of frost is around the second or third week of April. So we um, won't put those in the ground right now. But so anyway, there's our greenhouse. The extended garden space that'll be in the chain link fence there and the garden and inside the chain link fence we're going to have probably about 12 five gallon buckets in there as well so that wraps up the cleanup and the prep for getting the garden ready um if you haven't already subscribe to our channel Give us a comment if you've got some tips on anything we could or should do differently. And thank you for following our channel and look forward to the planting of the garden next.
Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. We are on our way to pick up a load of mulch to put in the bed of our garden spaces and around our fruit trees. Stay tuned for the finished product. I got it. We are it. here getting our mulch for our garden space. Go ahead and put it right here. back home with our mulch and we're going to start putting this into our garden to help crack down on some of the weeds. Well, been putting the mulch in the garden five gallon bucket at a time so I'm almost about halfway done. I'm going to take a little break and get back after it. Okay, we got all the mulch down in the garden, all three spaces, everything has mulch. We originally wanted to go with cypress mulch because we know cypress mulch will keep weeds down, but because we live in Northwest Arkansas, you can't get cypress mulch other than you can't get it in bulk you can only get it in bags at like home depot or lowe's and at four dollars a bag um it doesn't cover much we'd need probably about a hundred bags so we chose to go with the brown mulch our greenhouse covered in mulch as well so Hopefully this will keep the weeds down. And I've got all my starters started in the greenhouse. Um, lots of tomatoes and cabbage, bell pepper. Um, we eat a lot of, we make a lot of stuff with tomatoes and bell peppers and stuff. So anyway, that's the greenhouse completely ready. Starters are ready and we are ready to go. In an earlier video, I mentioned our fruit trees have just been eaten up by the deer. So we've got them caged up and to keep the weeds out, we mulched around the trunks of those as well. That is our pear tree. It's actually doing pretty good for a three-year tree. This one is our nectarine it's it's gonna make it it's small the deer ate it up but we are going to keep it fenced and we've got it mulched too and over here we've got our honey crisp apple tree it's it's gonna be the last to bloom but we do have a couple buds on it and it, i think it's gonna do fine it's just gonna be a slower one we've got it mulched this one here is our plum tree it's doing pretty good too it was eaten by the deer but we've got it fenced off and of course we've got it mulched to keep the weeds out and we are hoping to have a better success on our fruit trees this year of course we know fruit trees take a little while a few years before we can harvest any fruit off but we're looking forward to that and that finalizes our garden prep um hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't already subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment if you have any suggestions or comments on anything that we've done thank you for watching i did want to mention it is 66 degrees here in northwest arkansas today 
and in the greenhouse it is about 93. I do want to mention John Zito Landscaping in Avoca, Arkansas. He is the one who hooked us up with our brown mulch. He gave us a really good deal. And I just wanted to give a shout out to him. Thank you, John.